All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we're going to do like a little unboxing and a little overview of a watch from Pantor. So let's go ahead and check this one out. So they got a hold of me, guys, uh, asked if they could send a watch out to the channel for me to review, and I said, go ahead and send one out. So this is the one they picked. Uh, now, the company makes quartz and automatic watches. This happens to be their Nautilus quartz watch. This watch is available in a number of different color variations. I'm going to leave some Amazon links down below where you guys can go check out these watches now it is a quartz watch and i know a lot of people you gotta have an automatic but honestly i started out on quartz watches i have my original quartz watch from 30 plus years ago and it lasts really good it's a seiko uh, the watch just lasts me for years so i really don't have a problem with quartz watches as a matter of fact over the length of time that you'd service a watch change batteries and whatnot so quartz watches are really just a lot easier to deal with and they keep really darn good time. So, all right, guys, let's talk a little bit more about us. Like I said, this is the Nautilus version of their uh, Pantor from the Pantor lineup. They have a number of different colorways on the watch. This is a good size cushion case watch. Comes in at 45 millimeters from side to side on the case, not including the unexposed or the unguarded crown on the watch. Um, 46.5 lug to lug, so it's going to fit the wrist really well. It's not too long on the wrist. You got 12. 0.7 millimeters of thickness is what I measured to the top of the hardened mineral crystal. And this watch has a big 24 millimeter lug opening. It comes on a really nice rubber strap from Pantor. This is a really nice comfortable strap. I actually wore this watch a little bit today after it came into the channel. Nice stainless steel hardware there on the buckle assembly uh, branded Pantor as you would expect. Very clean case design on the watch. You have brushing on the top, polishing along the sides, and again, brushing continued along the bottom of the case. You guys can see the Pantor case back uh, decorated with that Nautilus there. Really good looking watch. 200 meter dive watch running a Swiss movement in it. Now they don't specify at the website exactly what that Swiss movement is, but I'd almost guarantee you it's probably gonna be a seven series Ronda movement most likely. I would hope, uh, given that on a diver's watch you should have that um, that end of life indicator on the Swiss movement here. Now looking at the second hand of the movement, guys, I know it really irks us when it doesn't hit dead on on the indices. And what's really interesting, and I find this on a lot of quartz watches, is on, on this half of the dial, it doesn't hit per perfectly. But then when it gets to about the 32 mark on the dial, it starts hitting perfectly all the way up to that 12 o'clock mark. So go figure. It doesn't really bother me. I know a lot of people it bugs you, but it's something that I've really gotten over on quartz watches. Non-signed crown, or actually, I'm sorry, it does have a signed crown, so that's pretty cool. Little models there on the signed crown. But the strap is super, super comfortable. It's got, it's grooved and vented kind of for a little bit of breathing on the wrist, also with these cuts here to keep it flexible. So Good, good looking watch, guys. I'm going to leave a link, like I said, down to Amazon below. At the website, at the Pantor website, these are listed at $209, which is a decent price, but I think the $139 they've got them listed at Amazon is a lot more honest price for a watch like this. It's a great looking watch. It's going to be kind of a tool watch to use. You can watch for banging around, traveling, camping, doing all kinds of good outdoor stuff. They are an American company, and one of their thing was to really build a watch that you could really, that would really hold up to the test of time. A watch that you could buy, have it, keep it. It'll be a watch that'll last you for a lifetime. So you can kind of think of it. And and I got to admit, I've had my Seiko Quartz for pretty much most of my life. I'm 50 now. I bought it when I was 12 years old. So go figure, right? Quartz is work. Nice, stiff 120 click bezel on this one. I have to say it's really, really stiff. You're not gonna have any problem um, with banging this thing and knocking your bezel off at all. Nice and grippy also, nice sharp gripping edges. I shouldn't say sharp because they actually work very well, but they're very nice. And it's a C3, I do believe a C3 Super Luminova they're using on the loom on the hands. Uh, the pip up here at the 12 o'clock position and uh, the indices, of course. So let's go ahead and uh, put this watch on my 7-inch wrist, see what it looks like, and then stick around, guys. We'll go out with that loom shot. All right, so definitely a cool-looking watch. I love this. I, I'm a big fan of stainless steel bezel inserts with the black writing like that. I think they just look neat. It just, I don't know, it's a no-frills, no, no, frills, no nonsense watch. Really get the job done. They offer it with a Pepsi bezel. I think there's an all-blacked-out version. A couple different models available. Um, check the links down below to Amazon where you can pick one of these up for 139. I know they were offering Prime also on these, so that means free shipping. So, you know, you're looking at probably under 150 bucks with tax and everything to get into one of these watches. And it's a great, great tool watch, really, if you want to add another kind of getting around doing stuff watch. This is going to do it. 200 meters of water resistance, so you can do pretty much anything you want to from, you know, skiing, skydiving to scuba diving, no problem at all. So let's dim the lights and check out the loom on this one. 
All right, we're looking good so far. Just shut off the lights and it's already glowing. So good, good looking watch, 139, like I said, plus tax. You're going to get a neat looking watch. Now, this isn't the only watch Pantor offers. They've got a whole lot of watches on Amazon and at their website. I'm going to leave a link to their website also down below in the description. So you can go check out all their watches they have. And they do have automatic watches um, available also. Uh, so if you're looking for something like that, they've got a few of those available. Of course, you're going to pay a little bit more money for an automatic watch, but everything they have to offer over at the website, I have to admit, I really like the way the watches look. Uh, I love that glowing pip up there at the 12 o'clock position. Nice and thickly applied loom, especially at this $139 price point. So, all right, guys, you like the video and you like the Pantor Nautilus, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.